Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to share with you some spreadsheet tricks but on your Android phone. So take your data intensive spreadsheets with you and work from anywhere with Excel for Android and you will be considered as efficient as you're working from your desktop. So here's a list of few tips that I will share with you <clears throat> and add these to your skill set um, and you will be the coolest mobile user in your team. So let's start with the first one, data ease. So we have data typing. So if you double click on a cell, so double tap on a cell, you'll be able to edit it. So I will start editing with the, some text here. Um, and then if I want to finish text editing, I will press the green tick button on the right hand side. And here we are, it is done. Um, if you use your enter button on the bottom, you see this is the enter button I'm using. You can go further down and down. In a case, if you want to use two lines in a cell, for example, now I double clicked, you see this blue button. Uh, it's kind of opposite of a location size. This is, if you click on it, it shows you a new line. Click on the new line and now you're able to enter a new line and when you click on the green button again you have two lines here so this is kind of a double that double line or multiple line entries you can make it with this it's possible to enter paragraphs like this and um, yeah so the number of I'll say the quality of the data it will be improved now if you want to delete this data simply hold a little bit on the cell and when you hold on the cell you will be able to see some options you see Clear is one of the options on the top. You simply have to click on the clear and then pop up, the data is removed. So you have a clear spreadsheet now. This is one, one thing. Now, another thing, when I am typing the data, for example, if I double click on it, now I can see calculator. You can see the calculator here and I can put the numbers here. Isn't it easy? This is easy, but if I click on the B, I see the text down there. I mean, I text keyboard part. Why it is happening? Because I have changed the data type of column A to numbers. So if you do that, you will be able to do again the same as I did. So for this purpose, you have to select the column, go down. There are multiple options. By the way, if you want to change the tab, click on the home and you will see all the tabs appearing on the left hand side. So for example, I click here now the home because I want to uh, check the formatting options and there is the format to numbers. What kind of number I want? I want to convert it to let's say currency or numbers, whatever doesn't matter. I'll connect for example for numbers now. Now it is numbers. This means whenever I will click on the editing, I will get number tab down there. So this will, this is handy while you're working, for example, on your shop or somewhere and you can quickly take the numbers while you're speaking with people. If you click on the same, uh, I mean, if it is converted to the numbers, you will see, I will select now column A and I'll be able to see up on the top sum, average, count and numeric count, etc., etc. multiple possible options that you may need. You can see them here. So you simply have to click one of them and it will be copied uh, on your clipboard. Now it is copied on your clipboard, which means that you can go in another application and you can use it. This is, this is very handy and easy. If you want to make a sum of this, for example, these, um, let's say these three only, you will select them and this is the sum and you can see all the options down there. You can also um, create a sum by this FX. So if I select, for example, these three, you see, I can copy the sum, the sum is here. So this is a handy way to use, I will say your skills in terms of using the formulas quickly, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, then, then there are options like sorting Excel, multiple options as well. You can use any of those uh, by, by going to the tabs you have here, for example, I have sorting here so I can sort ascending to descending. For example, I click on the sorting and you can see this, this particular column has been sorted. So this is also very easy to sort from here. Um, then you can also see what kind of options you have in the formulas and the functions here. Uh, for example, I have a, um, a function here. You can see tab in the ribbon draw. And exactly these are the ribbons usually you see on the top of your Excel spreadsheets, home, and these are the tabs 
um, insert, draw, formulas, data, view, review. You can use them here on the mobile phone very conveniently. So I go to the draw and I can see there are multiple options. So draw with touch or mouse and add a pen. So I select, for example, one pen here and I will draw. For example, you can see I can show that this is my direction or this is the number and I can take screenshots from here as well. I can use multiple um, highlights as well. I can use anything. I can put here numbers as well, like for example, uh, totals. So whatever you want, you can draw here and you can undo it as well if you want. I will go back. You can see everything is being undoed here. One of the good fu functions of Excel that we have. Okay, you can also use a camera function uh, on your on your spreadsheet. So, for example, I I want to use the camera function here. So, I will simply, um, for example, on this spreadsheet, I want to add some picture. So, I will go simply to Insert tab, and in the Insert tab, you have pictures. Click on the pictures, and there are options. You want to select picture. You want to select a camera picture. Click on the camera, and now you can see. For example, I've taken a watch here, and I want to take this watch into my Excel spreadsheet. I will click on that picture button. It has taken picture. I will click on it. If I want to, let's say, you know, a little bit crop it, I will, let's say for the sake of example, I cropped it, confirmed it and done. The moment I click on it, this is here on my uh, spreadsheet and I can make minimize this as well to make a little, you know, I'm just clicking on the white corner on the top and minimizing it. There we go we have a picture as well into our spreadsheet so that that is yet another i will say technique to 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 help yourself with this um, kind of entries that we see so while you click on to any cell i will uh, for the sake of example now i'm going to delete and if you want to delete the picture click on the picture and you see already a delete button i will delete this this was an example for 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 your convenience now click on the cell and when you click on the cell you can add multiple function here as well and you get all the list of the functions for example sum and you get a list of you know um, cells that you want so you can choose now from these and click on the green button and there you go you have a sum from a2 to a4 so that is yet another handy tip you have while you're working on excel functions etc you will find all of the options up here on your screen so you can use any of these um, options for yourself I mean it's it's just as normal as you use it in your in your computers very simple and straightforward nothing I will say um, a rocket science uh, you can do all the activities that you have normally in Excel um, yeah and 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 for example if I want to share it with someone that is also very easy I will simply have to go back to the tabs. I will click on the home and in the home tab. Um, okay, I went by mistake to the insert. I go to the home tab and in the home tab, there are multiple options you can see here. And you can use any of these options uh, in, in, in like using uh, and sharing this information as well uh, with your colleagues and with your uh, friends. You can use the view to zoom in, zoom out, free spans. You can use data, hide and hide formulas, all sort of formulas here. Insert, you can see the insert as well. And you can use the link here to share with people. So, um, yeah, this is this is um, kind of a, a little overview of Excel uh, on your Androids. I believe this can be very handy while working uh, with your with your friends with your um, colleagues um, insert for example I want to add one more column I have added it so how did I do that I just simply clicked on it I got an option of insert I selected option I can enter text here um, for example flowers uh, for example here is um, okay okay vegetables vegetables and I can put here fruits. So these were a few of um, the options. I've selected the data. This is a representation of, of um, my data. I will simply go up onto the insert tab and insert tab, I have many options. For example, I can add charts here. I would like to add a pie chart here. And this is the pie chart. You can see the pie chart is here. 
it's a very beautiful one and i can see how much flowers vegetables fruits i have guys i hope you enjoyed this and it was useful do not forget to share your comments down there and and um, your feedback as well if you haven't sub subscribed to the channel don't forget to subscribe it i look forward to speak to you in yet another excel video till then take care of yourself and speak to you soon bye bye